Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this session we will discuss about theory of depreciation. To understand depreciation, first we need to understand matching principle. Matching principle requires that the revenue of a given period is matched against the expense for the same period. This ensures ascertainment of certain amount of profit or loss. If some cost is incurred whose benefits extend for more than one year or one accounting period, then it is not justified to charge the entire cost as expense in the year in which it is incurred. Rather, such cost must be spread over the period in which it provides benefit. Depreciation, which is the main subject of matter here, deals with such a situation. Now, what we mean here by depreciation is the decline in the value of the fixed asset due to usage, pass or time or you can say obsolescence. So you must be aware about the fixed assets. So we will not discuss that. So in other words you can say if a business enterprise procures a machine and uses it in production process then the value of the machine declines with its usage even if the machine is not in production process we can not expect it to realize the same price due to passage of time or due to arrival of new model since the old model now becomes obsolete it implies that fixed assets are subject to decline in value and this decline is technically referred as depreciation now we'll understand it with the help of an example for example a machine is purchased for 1 lakh on some particular date of uh, uh, an accounting year or maybe the first day of the accounting year. The useful life of the machine is supposed to be uh, 10 years. It implies that machine can be used in the production process for next 10 years. Now you understand that by its very nature rupees 1 lakh is capital expenditure during the year in which it has been incurred. However, when income statement is prepared, the entire amount cannot be charged against the revenue for that particular year because of the reason that capital expenditure amounting to 1 lakh is expected to derive benefits for 10 years and not 1 year. Therefore, it is logical to charge only a part of the cost, say uh, one tenth of 1 lakh against the revenue for the year or maybe 10%. Uh, this part presents the expired cost or loss in the value of the machine on account of its usage or passage of time is referred to as depreciation. Now here I'll write the meaning of depreciation. So, 
depreciation means permanent continuing and gradual shrinkage in the book value of fixed assets. As per according I mean as per to Institute of Costs and Management Accounting London the depreciation is the diminution in intrinsic value of the assets due to use and or lapse of time. It also includes uh, amortization of the asset whose useful life is predetermined. So there can be various forms of depreciation like uh, depreciation and uh, other we have amortization depletion and the terms like that so these are also forms of depreciation now depreciation has a significant effect in determining and presenting the financial position and result of operation of an enterprise depreciation is charged in each accounting period by reference to the extent of depreciable amount it should be noted that subject matter of depreciation or its base are depreciable assets which are depreciable assets which have these properties like they are expected to be used for uh, or you can say during more than one accounting period the very next point is it has or they have a limited useful life and they are held by the company for use in production or supply of goods and services
they all are included for rental to others rental to others or for administrative purpose but it should not be it should not be for sale in ordinary course of business Now these are uh, the things on the basis of which we decide it is appreciable asset or not. So uh, if once we decide that uh, this a particular asset is a depreciable asset then we can charge depreciation on that. We can also understand the causes of depreciation. These can be wear and tear, due to usage or lapse of time, expiration of legal rights obsolescence can be a factor obsolescence can be a factor And uh, there can be some abnormal factors like earthquakes, floods, etc. Now, the most important thing is why we need depreciation. Now, the very important need or the most important need is to recover the cost of the fixed asset over its useful life. And uh, it also provides fund for replacement of that particular asset with a new one. So, uh, this is where we end uh, the theory of depreciation hope this video helps you understanding it thank you for watching this video